Look at that view. I love it with their reflection. I feel it's always magical. And his tusks are quite funny, aren't they? They're quite recurved and going all the way up. Just like he does. So, very wonderful big curry surprise for the day. And it was funny, because we were here maybe 10 minutes ago, and there was no sign of an elephant anywhere. And just as soon as we left and decided to go somewhere else... Well, hello, hello. Adele, you're wondering if the water is going to become scarce now that we're heading into the dry season. Um, yes, it will. And we're also going to start seeing less and less in certain areas. Some of the natural pans and not the, the ones that are artificially pumped will dry up eventually. So there will be less water for some of the creatures. And you'll find that they'll start concentrating in areas where they, can, where they know that they can always find water. So around this particular area in the Sabi Sand, there's lots of artificial water, so I don't think a lot of the animals will struggle too much for water. That is a very odd way of drinking. Are you being super lazy with your trunk? <laughs> Maybe you guys can have a, uh, or can make it out, because it looks quite funny from here, but he's actually drinking, but at the same time, he's resting his trunk in a very funny manner on his tusk. <laughs> hmm. Jessica, you're saying that elephants make you sleepy. <laughs> well, they can be quite peaceful animals. And sometimes when there's just a bull drinking around here, it's almost like you get to that stage of relaxation and happiness and you just enjoy what you're looking at. Or at least that's the way that I feel. So I think Ellie's are very interesting creatures to look at because they're always up to something. They're, they're always doing something or they're pretending to do something else. And in the meantime, they're just checking you out. And now you're going away, but I'm sure you can hear all of the haditas around, and I don't think he's too impressed with them. With those big ears, can you imagine how much noisier the haditas might see? Have you had a drink enough? Mm, maybe he's gonna go for a bite. Snack, you're saying that he looks. Uh, lonely and you're wondering where his herd is. Well, male elephants, especially as they get older, it's common to see them on their own. So the females and the babies and the young ones, they all stay together. But the bulls, not necessarily. The bulls, I think, as they start getting older, sometimes when they're about maybe 12 to 15, they start this, this independence process. And they'll start lagging behind the herd and eventually that gap between them and the herd will get so big that they'll be on their own. So if he finds, for example, the herd where he was born into, very likely he'll recognize his mother and sisters and there will be like a greeting ceremony, which is always wonderful to see between elephants because they all start secreting from their temporal glands and they start touching each other and putting their trunks in each other's mouth. And it's, it's, it's a very wonderful experience to witness. And if not, then if they don't find their natal herd or if they bump into some something else, they're always looking for females to mate with. So sometimes they get quite interesting in, in interested sorry, in some of the girls from different herds. I reckon that's probably their main interest. I think it's just I thought you were gonna go eat. So like